In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to convert an improper algebraic fraction into a mixed algebraic fraction using the method of polynomial division. Here is an example of an improper algebraic fraction. It's improper because the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. Here the degree is 3 and here the degree is 1. Please note that you can also get improper algebraic fractions when the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. And what we're looking to do is convert fractions like these into one of this form, where you have typically some polynomial plus or minus some proper algebraic fraction, where the denominator of the proper fraction is the same as the denominator of the improper fraction. And what we mean by a proper fraction is when the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator. This is the case here because the degree of the denominator is one, whereas in our numerator we have a constant value which has a degree of zero. Converting in this form is useful if you're asked to integrate by partial fractions. Let's have a look at an example using an improper fraction with numbers. It's improper because the numerator is greater than the denominator. You should know that converting this into a mixed fraction gives us three and a half, okay? We get the three because we need to multiply two by three to get as close as we can to seven. And that gives us six with a remainder of one. And we get the two because we're dividing by two. Now let's see how we get here by using the method of long division. So here we're dividing seven by two using long division. So in order to proceed, we need a number that when we multiply by two, we get as close to seven as possible. As we said earlier, that number is three. Multiplying three by two, we get six. And then we need to subtract these values, seven minus six, which gives us one. Since two doesn't go into one, we cannot continue the process. And these values have a special name that they're given. This term here is called the divisor. It's the number that divides into the numerator. This term here is called the quotient. And this term here is called the remainder. And using these special names or terms, we can come up with a general formula that helps us to convert improper fractions to mixed fractions. And that's that an improper fraction is equal to Q, the quotient, plus R, the remainder, over D, the divisor. And therefore, seven over two, as we calculated, is equal to Q, the quotient, which is three in this case, plus R, the remainder, one, divided by the divisor, which is equal to two. And we're gonna use the same formula to convert improper algebraic fractions into mixed algebraic fractions. So in this example, we are told that given that two x cubed plus three x squared minus four x plus five over x plus three is equivalent to ax squared plus bx plus c plus d over x plus three, Find the values of A, B, C, and D. So inspecting this question, we can see that we have a improper algebraic fraction because the degree of the numerator is three and the degree of the denominator is one. And it's equivalent to some polynomial AX squared plus BX plus C plus some fraction. And we can see that the denominator of this fraction is the same as the denominator of the fraction on the left hand side. Let's convert the left hand side into a mixed algebraic fraction and see if we're able to determine these values a, b, c and d. And the method we're going to use is polynomial long division where we divide x plus 3 into 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 5. Assuming you know how to use this method, what we need to do is find a term that multiplies with x to give us 2x cubed. That term is 2x squared. 
We then need to multiply 2x squared across these terms. So 2x squared times by x gives us 2x cubed and 2x squared times by 3 gives us 6x squared. We then need to subtract these terms. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed gives us 0, so we won't write anything there. And 3x squared minus 6x squared gives us negative 3x squared. Moving on to the next term, let's bring minus 4x down. And now we need to repeat the process. So we need to find a term that multiplies with x to give us minus 3x squared. And that term is minus 3x. So let's multiply minus 3x across these terms. Minus 3x times by x gives us minus 3x squared. And minus 3x times by 3 gives us minus 9x. Again, we need to subtract these terms. Always make sure you include the minus sign because when you're dealing with negative terms, it's really easy to make mistakes if you haven't written your minus sign. So here in this column, we have minus 3x squared minus minus 3x squared, which is the same thing as minus 3x squared plus 3x squared, which is zero. So we just leave that out. And here we have minus 4x minus minus 9x. And that's the same as minus 4x plus 9x, which is equal to 5x. And now let's bring the next term down. Now we need to think of a number that multiplies with x to give us 5x. And that number is positive 5. Multiplying 5 across these terms, we get 5 times x, which gives us 5x and 5 times 3, which gives us 15. Subtracting these terms again, we get 5x minus 5x is 0, and 5 minus 15 is equal to minus 10. We know that x cannot divide into minus 10, and therefore we can't continue the process. So this means that we now know our quotient remainder and divisor. Our remainder here is negative 10, our quotient here is this polynomial, 2x squared minus 3x plus 5, and our divisor is x plus 3. Referring back to this formula and putting this all together, we can say that therefore, 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 5 over x plus 3 is equivalent to the quotient, 2x squared minus 3x plus 5, plus the remainder, now the remainder in this case is negative 10, and therefore, instead of writing plus, we would write minus 10 all over the divisor, which is equal to x plus three. And now we've written the left-hand side in a form which looks as expected. We can now determine that the value of a is equal to the coefficient of x squared, which is equal to two. The value of b is the coefficient of x, which is minus three. c is equal to five. And d is equal to negative 10. Hopefully now you should be confident with this kind of question. Try and answer this three mark exam question and leave your comments down below. Keep up the good work and see you in the next tutorial. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.